Whoa, what's up? Today's video is on T.I. and Tiny versus their son, King, at an Atlanta Falcons game. To me, this shit a big-ass PR stunt, goddammit. That's the real truth about this shit. People sitting up there saying, you notice every video you watch is saying, people keep saying, like, King ain't about that. You don't know what King might be about. Yeah, we do know what King about, and he ain't about a motherfucking thing. So stop trying to give me that excuse about, oh, when they was filming T.I. and Tiny inside of that big-ass mansion and all of that shit, he was living with his grandma. And if y'all know this page, y'all know that my shit start from T.I. and Tiny family reunion or you know, whatever bullshit the name of the show was. Don't try to give me that bullshit because think about this. If he was living with his grandma, goddammit, his grandma was living well. Are you going to tell me that T.I. ain't look out for his mama? I mean, for his grandma, goddammit, my bad. You think T.I. ain't look out for his grandma? Matter of fact, did you not see the video when he was inside that Waffle House trying to flex on the fry cook and uh, the motherfucking waitress and shit, saying he make more than them in a year and all of that bullshit flexing on them people? And T.I. laid up there and defended him, saying, what you do at arguing with the fry cook like them people is below him now? Oh, I thought you was from the hood, T.I. Oh, them people below you because they got a nine to five? And I'm pretty sure a lot of you motherfuckers listening to me got a nine to motherfucking five, god damn it. Do you think T.I. higher than you? On a fucking totem pole? I don't think so, goddammit. Just because you ain't selling drugs or pimping or none of that old dumbass bullshit, goddammit. For real? So think about that. Even if he was with his grandma, his grandma was broke off. Do you think he went to a fucking public school? I don't think that little nigga went to a public school. And if he did, I'll make a video apologizing, goddammit. Oh, he went to a public school. Them niggas in a public school would tell that nigga straight up, bro, we from the motherfucking hood, bro. Stop trying to act like you one of us. Nigga, your daddy tip. And look, look how you was flexing in the motherfucking Waffle House. Look at the car that you drive to school and shit like that. You don't think niggas will tell him that? And them niggas in that public school don't play, they would've beat the fuck out that little boy. Look crisscross face ass boy, look kid and play looking ass boy, the long mouth ass boy, boy get your little funny looking ass out of here. Them boys would've beat the fuck out that boy and made mad fun of him. So don't try to act like we don't know what King about. We don't know what King might do. King wouldn't do a motherfucking thing but sit his ass down after a nigga knocked his little silly ass out, god damn it. But on another aspect, I was happy that T.I. laid up there and roughed him up supposedly because it seemed like a PR stunt. I was happy that T.I. roughed him up and was like, nigga, you can't do shit with me, goddammit. And even if he did have a deeper problem, oh, he was living with his daddy, so he got a deeper problem. Nigga, that don't mean that you get to disrespect your fucking rich-ass parents who still made sure you was living right. I don't care what kind of emotional problems you had. Them people still made sure that you had the best shoes, the best clothes, the best schools, the best of everything. So fuck all of that emotion emotional shit people trying to give him trying to give him a pass on that type of motherfucking level look at this silly ass little boy man trying to be her he remind me of one of them niggas who was rich and was coming to the hood school he just like uh new new matter of fact i'm looking at atl right now you just like new new nigga my daddy from the track looking ass nigga man oh my daddy from the track and shit that don't mean you from that nigga you not new new. Get the fuck out of here. And new new ain't new new. God damn it. Look at the fucking movie. Trying to be like she from the hood because her daddy was from there and rose above. No, you should try to be above that shit and go to school with that little white girl that new new was going to school with. Try to be better, motherfucker. He trying to be new new. Look at him. New new looking ass nigga. This nigga is ATL. This is ATL all over again. I ain't even think about that shit. This nigga is Nunu. He the male version of Nunu. He ATL part two round this motherfucker, y'all. Come on, y'all ain't watching that shit. God, you, you, when no girl them said, girl, you got a mama and a daddy. Yeah, that's how people look at you in that public school because them girls was in the public school, remember? The twins, they was like, girl, you got a mama and a daddy. That's his call. That's what type of nigga he is. Nigga, you got T.I. and Tiny. They both got a car. They both got a mansion. Stupid looking ass kid and play crisscross face ass, long face ass boy, man. Come on now, y'all. 
Y'all really trying to get that boy up play real though? What that little dude about? Yeah, we do, nigga. That's a rich ass little boy who always had it his way, goddammit. Even his grandma was broke off, so don't act like he was in broke off when we saw the video. He even trying to fight people at T.I. and Tiny Museum and shit, the Trap Museum. Nigga putting up in Rolls Royces and all kind of shit. Don't try to act like we don't know what that nigga about. We know what that nigga about. He about being a little stuck up ass silver spoon goon ass nigga. That's what he about. But guess what? Once again, y'all holler at me. And if you got a problem with the topic, bitches, don't holler at me, goddammit. And that go for all you sneak dissing ass niggas because I know you listen. Once again, y'all holler.